this one? It's okay. Do I have to start again, or did you hear me? Um, so we are here and try to win the game tomorrow. That's all. Um, and I think that's um, that's what we should do. Um, and um, we'll see if that's possible. If you play um, a lot of moments we had last week, we uh, were really, really good moments where. I thought that was a little bit lucky, but in the end, they won completely deserved. They, they played a really good game. We didn't play ex um, extremely well. Um, and so that's it now. Start. Let's start with a much better performance, and let's try to win the game. And then we will see what, how much time is left in the end. But that's all. Very well. Carl. Hi, Egan. Um, just, I was just reading back on what some of the players said about the Barcelona game, about what you said before the game, um, particularly De Dejan Lovren talked about a, a brilliant speech you made. I'm just wondering if you've got anything in mind tomorrow to... <laughs> not actually you need to tell me what it is, but you know, have, you, have you got something you're thinking about? Yeah, I, I wrote it already. Um, down. Uh, what I remember... From that time, you know, I usually don't prepare these kind of things like that, and especially on the day before or four years before or whatever. So, um, uh, if I will, what I will say, the boys, I think about tomorrow. Um, but definitely nothing about these kind of things were in the press conference before. I remember that I said, if we fail, then let's fail in the most beautiful way. And that's exactly how I see it again. But it's, I said it already, we want to win the game. And then if we want to win the game, we should better play good. If you play good, we have a chance to win it. Um, and then we will see. It is exactly like that. But I said after the game as well, directly after the game, everybody in the stadium in Liverpool, the Liverpool supporters, the Bergamo supporters, players, our staff, thought, that's it. But since then, it's now a week later, I don't think everybody thinks it's already decided. Um, but, you know, well, we are here. And we can be good, but obviously we can be not so good as well. So let's see what we, what we can um, put on a pitch tomorrow. But my, my team meeting will not happen in front of the world here in a press conference. It will happen there. And if we win, the players will find a reason to tell the world what I said. And if we lose, nobody want to hear what I said. So um, that's it. Knowing the fact, oh sorry, what makes your approach different? Knowing the fact that you have to score at least three times uh, tomorrow. Nothing. Nothing. No, we should, that, um, that we conceded the three goals had nothing to do with the approach. So losing the ball in the wrong moments, not being um, organized in the moments had nothing to do with the approach. It's not that I said the boys let them run; they will not score when you leave when we leave them alone in the box was not the way we, we spoke about it. So the approach will not change. We should do better in these moments, but um, uh, we should do better in possession. Our, against the ball, we should be better and more consistent. Um, yeah, we, 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 we should play a, a, a really good Liverpool football game, the way we usually play. We are well-organized team. We were not always that night. Um, and that, look, if you want to win the game, you better don't concede. That's clear. So it's not that we are, it's not allowed to concede at all, but it makes life easier not to concede. If to win 1-0, um, which is be already, always, already a good result, um, you shouldn't concede. And that's a big part of, of the match plan tomorrow. Gentlemen, can't. Hi, Jürgen. Uh, can I just check on fitness things? How's Connor doing? Uh, any of it? Connor, yes, it's not. I think Ryan Grabbert had a similar thing. So, first week of May, he should be back in training. When is that? Two weeks' time. Um, it was overstretched the ligaments a little bit. Not serious, serious, but serious enough that he's not here. 
What was the other question? Oh. Any other? Any other? No. 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 All the others are fine. Hi, Jürgen. Uh, Vicky Sparks from Five Live. Can you just give us your perspective right now on how important this competition remains to you and to Liverpool this season? Uh, 100%. <laughs> are we are here. Are we, as, I'm long enough in this, in this business to know that it's two legs. Um, and it's over when it's over. As far as I know, we still are allowed to play tomorrow, so that's what we will try. That means it has one, our one hundred thousand percent focus. We are he only here for one reason. I'm pretty sure this is a wonderful region. We did not even look. So we're only here for for playing football. That's what I can say. But I cannot win this game in this press conference today. That's why I'm not really interested in what you are asking and what I'm answering as well, not because the main part is actually when I leave this room finally, um, then it starts. And um, but it has our 100% focus. The back. From Hungary, uh, oh. in English, <laughs> Mr. Klopp. Can after. I use them one time? They are really cool. <laughs> Sorry. You. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, so after the first leg, you said that the man marking played by Atalanta caused you massive problems as it's always uncomfortable when you're not on your top. Do you expect the same attitude and game <laughs> style from the Italians? And if yes, could you prepare more? We played, four years, we played four years ago against Bergamo and they, they played like this. And the result was different here. So um, it's not man marking is not the problem. They did really well, but we did not well. So we played against, yes, we didn't win against United, but created I don't know how many chances they play man marking. So it's not, that's not the problem. We have to do better. We have to do better. We, we played in these moments in their cards, but that's not to change anymore. It's just a description of the game. Specific runs we did not often enough that night would have caused them more problems. But tomorrow the game is even more difficult because they don't have to score at all. And I don't know, don't know exactly what they want to do. But it's not easy to approach a game when you are 3-0 up. We had that in the past when we won here at Bergamo, I'm not sure, 5 nil or so. And at home it was not easy to find the right mood for that game. And in the end we lost 2-0, I think. Something like that. It's really not simple. Because usually you fight for everything and how do you want to fight tomorrow for everyone you are three nil up? It's not that's really not easy for them as well. So we will see who deals better with the situation and all these kind of things. If Bergamo goes through, congratulations, then they deserve it. And if not, then something special probably would have happened, but I don't know in this moment if that's possible. Last one just so we can use headphones. Thank you. Buongiorno. Good evening. Um, in the first leg, Gianluca Scamacca scored a brace. You also came up against him last season when he played for West Ham United. This season in Italy, they're talking a great deal about him possibly being the number nine for Italy at Euro 2024. What have you made of him and do you think he is the main danger for Liverpool tomorrow evening? He was exceptional against us. Eh? He was really, really good. He was in, in, in England. We say he was a handful. <laughs> it's difficult to play against. Great in the in the air. Great on the floor. I liked him when he was at West Ham. Didn't know him too well when he when he came to West Ham. Didn't work out there 100 percent. But that can happen because the Premier League is a is a difficult league to play. But you can see that he has great quality. Um, I don't know now all the other Italian strikers, to be honest, to, to compare them and ask. Oh, I know them all, but don't know exactly who is in contention to be the number nine for Italy and who not. But for a specific way of play, I would say he's, uh, he's a fantastic option. He is a real focused player. He can bring the ball down, gives you time to push up, is a, is a threat in the box. A speed as well. That's a really interesting package. A really interesting package. So, yeah, he was. He made a, dif a big difference in that game, but we didn't make it too difficult for him as well. So we should make it a little bit more difficult tomorrow. I don't. Did he score against us when he played for West Ham? Look. So 
we played twice against him. Once we defended him well, and one, one left too well. So let's see what we can do tomorrow.